Today is the day we start on the new mini quad. I don't know if you can hear anything on this heater. Well, the old OG quad has been welded together so many times. The bushings are all gone. The front end is just... She's a unit. So today, we're going to start on this one. This one is very nice. Picked this up for $50. We bought two of them. Plastics and everything. So I just got it stripped all down. And uh, we got a motor plate. We got a Makuni. We got a Superman cam shaft for 212. We got a torque converter. Uh, we got to find some handlebars and we're gonna run and grab a 212 and some chain. <laughs> I mean, this is a present. We're gonna yeah. unbox this mother. Fred's kid, Stanley. This is not my motor. Nope, building Keeper's four wheeler for torque fast. I'm just contributing the knife. My cutting skills. Instructions. You always get the instructions. You don't need instructions. I prefer my long water on ice. I just read that. <laughs> Let's read <hear> that. <laughs> Another one of these? <laughs> it's the 16th drawer of. Here's your basic breakdown of the Predator motor. You don't need it. the old motor from my the blown up one <laughs> uh, mocked up while Jack was working on the motor he was gonna put the cam yeah, in we were gonna put the camshaft and everything in but it turns out I ended up with a Hemi so the camshaft I bought says non Hemi will not fit we tried so now we're just gonna put this one in stock and wait until we I guess get a non Hemi to build put a cam in it after torque because I don't think so we got the motor plate mocked up the torque converter on so now we're gonna have to kick this rear end up line up the chain tack it in burn it in and then it'll start coming together and that is all riser bite deals not bad we got two of these one by one box square tubing. Jack's welding them together right now. So that'd be two inches of rise in the back because we were hitting the torque converter on that bar right there. Cody's getting her cleaned up. We're going to tack these straps in and uh, line up the chain, weld her in. I'm not comfortable. We usually start off by buying this motor plate, or building one, it don't matter. That bolts to the bottom of the motor. But these just have rails. So we always tack a couple of these straps where the front and the back of that motor mount's gonna fit. But in order to clear this swing arm right here, we have to crank the back of the motor up a little bit, and that's where well, Jack... your torque converter has to clear your Yeah, frame. and the torque converter hangs off below the motor. 
so it has to clear the frame. So we always try to kick the back up. Where's that thing you welded up? So we just nice welded. These are two one inch square tubing pieces welded together, and that should give it well two inches. <laughs> Technically, so we're put that together, and then you just you line your motor up to where your torque converter sprocket lines up with your rear sprocket right over the right swing arm. Around here. So somewhere around in here. So now now we're gonna try to get it back on here, test it again, and see where this front uh, strap is gonna. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Brace some, plate. Somewhere yeah. around in there. And then that'll be our two inch kick up in the rear to clear the torque converter and to clear the swing arm. And it makes it look rad. Yeah, it's just a race, <laughs> race, race car shit. So as we said before, we have this front strap just sitting here and you can see the motor mount at an angle with this piece, these two pieces of two inch tubing welded together back here as a kick up. So that clears our frame here with the torque converter and if you look back here, straight up from the sprocket, lines up with this sprocket up here. Which we're still gonna have to get back into. Yeah, that's the finer details, but we get these straps. And your bolt, in. you gotta make sure your bolt holes are clean. You know, you don't have anything under your bolt holes. All right, so we got the chain laid on. Uh, like I said, you just, it's just swimming around on these flat pieces that are tacked in. So you just get the motor to where you can sit back here like Jack is and look straight down the chain. Make sure it lines up good. And then you just, Give her a, a good tack. Now, <laughs> Midst argument between That us. is the one thing though that you do want to pay attention to is getting that chain straight because you start riding it through the woods and throw that chain about five times. Uh, yeah, you'll be pissed off. Yeah. You gotta grind welds. I don't know. What do we do it to? <laughs> we had to do it to Olivia's and mine. Cut the Mine mount. was a miracle. It worked perfect yeah, the first yeah. time. But now we pay a lot of attention to it. Yes. And, and the motor's actually. And when you come in looking at this stuff, how this doesn't look square at all, that's this Chinese frames. We went to measure it and these are not not square. So when you see <laughs> stuff like this that like it looks like, you know, crooked right here, it's Mine because that's where it has to be to be straight. God damn it. Dead gummit. Okay, she's straight on. Jack's packing all the motor mounts risers and plates we'll get that motor pulled off get everything welded up solid and well, start getting the new motor on clear, but we talked about that again so we just pulled the chain off everything's tacked up ready to be fully welded in uh, the boys just went out and looking for a pet cock for the old og quad I think Cody's gonna end up taking this one to Torque Fest because he hasn't had time to build one yet. We got the mock up motor off. Like I said, these frames are so cockeyed that it looks like this mount is just six ways to Sunday. But the motor's gonna sit straight. But we double, triple checked. I got it all fully welded in. Can't see. Fully well done. We're gonna hit it with a little bit of paint. Oh, I do need. I need to wire wheel this side. And then uh, motor mount's ready to go. We'll probably be able to put the new motor on. Yeah, I'll skunk here on the fucking rattle can. <laughs> Ex California tagger, dude. If my handwriting was a little bit better, I might have went somewhere with it. <laughs> I painted many, many a bicycles in my day. <laughs> None of them stolen, I promise. They got stolen from me. Because <laughs> they look so damn good when you got them painted. <laughs> she painted up. Screwed up. Jack scared me about where my exhaust is going to come out, so I had to throw it back on there. We're good. But, like I said about my cam not fitting, because we got happened to get a Hemi. Uh, we bought three, we of them. three of them. <laughs> bought three of them. That one's also a Hemi. Is that one still in there? Yeah. On that one's also a Hemi, so I don't know. I'm I still don't know much about the whole Hemi thing, but we, we got three of them. We got three of them now. And now my camshaft won't work. Yeah, we, we all pay different prices. For for too. <laughs> yeah, nobody. yeah. Okay, so yeah, that's the story. Shane got it for his two twenty four. Wouldn't work. It's for a two twelve. I got it for my two twelve. Bought it off of him. Won't work. Non Hemi. And then, then I was like, maybe Crowder can use it. Nope. Hemi. Maybe Cody could use it. And I'm over here with the G24. Sure. <laughs> you look pretty cool and safe. <laughs> They're safety glasses, dude. I bought them from Dollar General for $5. <laughs>
God damn what it, we dude. Did here we marked it with the paint. Day two. We got the motor mounted up. We have these all welded up. There's a little kick up in the back. Got the chain on it. Torque converter on it. Now it's time to bolt on a lot of the piddly little stuff. Like uh, right now what I'm working on is the old, the old throttle cable is the thumb throttle. We usually put twist throttles on because we usually get these from the junkyard and they don't have most of the time these are gone but this one had its own throttle on it still with the slide although this is too big for the Makuni <clears throat> we can use this and go straight in from the top but we have a few of them like this and it seems to be kind of problematic when it comes to tree branches and stuff so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to take this if it focuses anyway I'm going to try to take this little elbow off of here grind this off just enough that it pops out of there so that I can use this elbow on the top for this carburetor maybe okay got that off of there now we can stick that in here onto the top of the Makuni one an angle so the cable can come in this way. This is the factory flange off of the stock motor. This is a different one, but same thing. We cut this off. And it just happens to fit Predator. It's fine. So then we cut another factory mini quad exhaust. And we're going to weld it just like that. And it should come out to about. We're going to bolt that down before we. Uh, but that's how we're going to do the exhaust. Grab the nuts. Uh, they did not get to buy that. We are really comfy. They look comfy. I mean, they did. Bolted it up. I got to find a gasket. Yeah, I got to find a gasket and wrap it. It's stock. I didn't know that I was getting a hemi, so the camshaft I bought for it won't work or nothing. So all I have is a header and a slide car. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, I got the other one. Get that noise.